My name is Bernard Ashwan. At Publishing Smarter, one of the things we do is create videos like this one to help people learn how to improve their documentation creation, management, and publishing workflows. This video is going to show you how to work with Syntax Cerna Free and to create DITA content, specifically to create a generic topic and populate it. To get started, I'm going to close off the examples. By clicking on the document menu, I see new document. This opens a wizard that supports the DITA specification, including version 1.0, which shows a set of six templates. I can also choose DITA 1.1. This shows a larger set of templates, including one that is named Topic. After selecting Topic, I click OK. The new topic is displayed by default, with a content map on the left and the document view on the right. I'm going to click on the View menu in order to change around some of the display. The show markup is really useful early on in order to show you more of the tags that are being used in behind the scenes. With the markup showing, you can see the topic beginning, the title, the actual text that's typed into the title, and then the end of the title. You can also see that there's a body with an empty paragraph, the body ends, and then eventually the topic ends. I'll change the title, and in order to do so, I double click the word topic. Changing content is pretty easy. You just type in the new information. To type text into the empty paragraph, I click between the tags. And again, I just type in some more text. To add elements, you have to generally know the structure and where you can click and what you're allowed to insert. In this case, I'm going to click at the end of the title before the beginning of the body. There are a lot of options when it comes to inserting an element. One of them, after you've positioned your insertion point, is to click the element menu. It's then pretty straightforward to click insert element. But notice also that there's a keyboard shortcut, Control, Return, and this is the type of shortcut that you'll see next to a lot of the different commands that are available. If you're going to be working with the elements a lot, it's a good idea to get used to some of these shortcuts. In the dialog that appears, I'm going to single click on Short Desk. Then I click Insert. Here an empty element is inserted, and then text can be typed. In order to add prologue information, like the author name or the publisher, you have to click after the short desk, but before the body. Instead of returning to the element menu, I'm going to press Control Enter. Since the only choice I have available right now is to insert a prologue, it's really easy and all I do is press Enter. And as you can see, the empty prologue is added. Again, Control Enter is pressed, and again, the default for insert element of author is what I want, so I press Enter. At this point, text is allowed, so I just type. Next, I'll click after the author, but before the end of the prologue, and again, I'll press Control Enter. This time, I don't want to insert another author, so I'm going to select the text and type in something new instead. As I type, you'll see the autocomplete, and as soon as I see what I want, I press Enter. As soon as the element's inserted, I just type in the content. I'm getting close to the bottom of the screen, so I'm just going to scroll down and continue to work. I can also add content into the body of this topic, so I'm going to click after the paragraph before the end of the body. Instead of using the element menu or pressing Control Enter, this time I'm going to scroll up and put the mouse cursor inside the content map where the gray bar appears underneath the paragraph inside the body. When I right click inside here, I get a context menu that includes the choice to insert element. Insert element expands to show a list of all of the elements that are valid at the current location. Once inserted, you can see the note element and the automatically applied text note followed by a colon and a space. I'll also add a bit more content inside the note and to do so again, I press control enter. I'll add a paragraph inside the note and then type into the paragraph. To wrap it up, I'm going to add one more paragraph after the note, but before the end of the body. After selecting the location, I again press Control Enter. The element that I want is the default that is already selected, so I press Enter. I type in a bit more text, and that's it. I'm done. I've finished creating this topic. I've inserted a range of different elements in a couple of different ways. And hopefully this is enough to get you comfortable and started using Syntax Cerna free.